My friends, I've made my way to Nebraska, state number 40 in the 50 state shred. It's the Platte River State Park mountain bike trails, as you can see right there. Wow, 40 is a hell of a milestone. 10 states left, and if you look at the map, it's actually, I don't even know how there's 10 states left. You know, Alaska and Hawaii are always kind of outside the picture, but uh, yeah, eight states left, a lot of mountainous states. This is kind of sort of the last flat state on the list. North Dakota actually is uh, pretty flat. If you look at like state rankings by uh, flatness, by heightness, by bigness, by smallness. But this trail, I think has some really, really good promise only because those trails in Iowa yesterday were amazing across the river and it's the same kind of idea. It's kind of similar terrain, maybe not exactly the same, but at least it's the same people building the trails and kind of having the same idea of what's fun. This trailhead is brand new. It's not on Google Maps yet and uh, pretty cool. They got the bike stand, they got the pump, they got the tools, they got the bathroom, a future information kiosk, a bus stop or whatever this is. <laughs> pretty sweet. All right, today's guides will be Chris, the president of Trails Have Our Respect. That's the mountain bike club around here. Thor, which I think is a pretty cool name for a trail system, trail club, I should say. And then Jason from Method Cycles down in Lincoln. So this place is kind of halfway between Lincoln and Omaha. So, you know, two metro areas that share this place. But they say the Lincoln guys, uh, you know, do more work out here than the, the Omaha guys. Perfect weather. Yeah. No humidity at the moment. There was a crazy storm front that blew through yesterday. A bunch of people lost power. I had to move the van where I was parked. I thought a tree was gonna fall on it. Wow, <laughs> that's sustainable. <laughs> Woo <-hoo. laughs> Woo yeah. Oh, hard ride. Woo. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> oh. I didn't see that coming. <laughs> nice. Rocky Tech. Yeah, <laughs> that was super smooth. It's amazing what could happen if you just follow the right speed and not panic break every single time. Into the gully. Chris says you gotta be in one easier gear than you think most of the time when you're out here because there's always a big punchy climb ahead. I think that advice is paying off. <sighs> Stare down. <laughs> Deer in the headlights. Wow, nice. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> High speed. Oh yeah. <laughs> Jason behind me said this is the first time he's ridden this little section and he's been ridden, riding out here since the 90s. <laughs> Always something new to discover. These are the original trails. Okay. <laughs> The old spice. Yeah. 
Nice. Yeah. Oh. Some people like to take a gander. Yeah. Oh, wow. So, you will come back and ride across this. Nice. In the uh, winter time, you know, when it gets really cold, we'll just all be frozen. Oh, so, man. It's really, really pretty. Jason said a lot of the stuff we're on right now is from the old school race loops. And you know, maybe five years ago, it was all overgrown. So the club has done a lot to cut it back and revive it, and now it gets plenty of use. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> cool. Whoa! <laughs> nice. There's climbing in Nebraska. We found it. East bound and down. We just climbed this whole thing and it was brutal. So it's gotta be good. Yeah. Woo. Woo. Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, these corn fed boys know how to build a trail. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Man, just some really good downs and some really good ups that are tough. Oh, the tougher the climb, the better the descent. Sweet. So we completed the little west loop, or not little, but we completed the west loop. Now it's time for a little van life Gatorade break. All right, so this is the new section out here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Turn fast, Cougar Ridge. It was a kitty out here at one time. Oh, really? How long ago? Yeah, about a year. No way. Okay. Yeah, I see it. I see it. <laughs> Let's see. Redo. There we go. Yeah, everybody was calling this the whale tail. It's more like the ditch or something. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> you got up way high. Whoa, that one's scary. <laughs> Woo yeah. So Chris said that this is one of three hundred year old oaks in the state. Still going strong to imagine all the different things this tree has seen and <laughs> staircase to nowhere. Whoa, man, that was awkward. <laughs> Whoa, that rut in the middle. <laughs> that was nasty. Ooh, chew you up and spit you out. Uh-oh, uh-oh, got it. <laughs> we beat the heat, we got some miles in. Thank you, Chris, that was really, really fun.
Once again, thank you, Jason and Chris, for being my guides out here, telling me a few fun stories about the park. I just hung my laundry out to dry for a little bit, sat in my camp chair. Just a very picturesque, perfect day. Got a little suntan going, got to get the vitamin D going. And uh, yeah, it was, it was very cool. You think about Nebraska, you think about flatlands, and they've got all kinds of cool stuff out here. Coming into the home stretch, 40 states down, 10 to go. Alaska and Hawaii, total wild cards. Who knows if that will ever happen. But the final eight, pretty well in the bag right now. You might be watching this video in October or November, or whenever this videos actually come out, but where I'm sitting right now, I'm still good to go. I think I'm gonna have a pretty good chance to, to bag all these. And eh, maybe this will come out in September. I don't know when the heck it's gonna come out. <laughs> it's just I've got 10 videos that I haven't edited yet in the can. Gonna have to take some time here in a minute to actually get all this work done. I've got a nice little nine hour drive ahead of me. They say uh, South Dakota, <laughs> not, not a fun <laughs> state to drive through. I'm gonna make it fun. I'm gonna sing some songs in the car. It's gonna be great. Thanks for watching, you guys. I'll see you on the trail.